In this review, we look at a pair of articulated dump trucks by USK Models. We have the Bell B45E, and we top that off with the Bell B60E. The packaging for both models is of the same type, so we'll look at the B45E, and there's some minimal factory sealing of the box flaps. Then we can pull out the inside, which consists of a plastic former, and the model's secured by ties, although they're not twist ties. No assembly because it's complete out of the box. Out of the box we have USK model 31014 which is the B45E and 31015 is the B60E. For the detail we'll start with the free axle B45E and the plate under the front is one large plastic piece. There's more detail at the back including the transmission and a red painted safety bar and the large tyres have a good tread pattern. At the front there are nice sharp graphics and well detailed lights and the tiny bell name is on the front grille. The handrails and mirror assemblies on the model are all plastic but the colour match is very good. And when you need to take a step up, the stairs have a good tread on them. The box behind the cab is plastic and it has some texturing. And on the roof of the cab you've got a mirror, an aerial and beacon lights. The exhaust pipe looks like it's got a hole in it and you can see it's plastic. And so is the grille on top of the body. But at least as a plus point, it is see-through. The inside of the body has got a nice finish. And on the outside the bell graphics are sharp. The mud flaps are metal and part of the casting, and the rear flap mechanism is metal. Moving on to the B60E, and the front end is very similar to the B45E, but the rear end is quite different because this is only a two axle machine. The wheels and tyres are much bigger on this model. There's some nice detailing underneath the body, including rock deflector bars, and a nice looking safety cable. Again, the detailing at the front end of the B60E is very similar to the B45E. And although the plastic handrails seem the same, the mirror assemblies are different. Much of the other detailing is the same, including the wheels and the exhaust pipe at the back. And both models have that nice connection hose between the front and back. The front of the body also has a see-through plastic grille, and it's much wider than the one on the B45. The body is much larger, but with the same finish inside. And it's also similar outside. And the lifting eye locations are marked, but they're not holes. The rear end detail looks very good, including the very large suspension cylinders and the lights. And the rock deflectors can be folded down. <laughs> For the features we'll start with the B45E on its back and it's good that the rear wheels spin separately. Working linked suspension has also been modelled. Driving the model along and it rolls very nicely but one weakness of the model engineering is the steering which is really rather limited. So you won't be making any sharp turns with the model but one thing you can certainly do is twist yourself awkwardly and that's because there's some good rotation at the pivot point. An interesting feature is that both the cab and the hood can be tilted, although the range of movement is restricted on both. Looking underneath you can see that there is a Mercedes-Benz engine, and when you want to close things up, remember it's cab first. As always an important feature of a model like this is the achievable tipping angle, and that's been implemented very well including the articulated tailgate. Let's lower the body and see how that tailgate mechanism works, and it looks quite convincing. 
Next we look at the B60E and it's nice that the rear wheels spin independently but the front ones share a common axle. And again the steering angle is weak because of the model engineering used. Although the rear suspension is modelled it doesn't actually work on the review model. In terms of rolling the truck along it's just as good as the B45. And the restricted steering angle is also the same. But things look better with the rotation at the articulation point. The opening cab and hood are implemented in the same way, although it is a little bit more difficult to get them to stay posed in the open position. The detailing of the plastic engine underneath appears to be the same as on the B45. Let's check out the tipping angle on the B60, and the multi-stage rams allow a very good tipping angle. <laughs> These are two solid models by USK. There is some very nice detailing and the models have a reasonably high metal content. The features are more of a mixed bag with excellent tipping angles, but the steering angles are less than you would like. But these models are reasonably priced and overall they are very good.